Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel, another baseball video here. I've gotten a lot of comments about skill tokens and what exactly is a skill token, how do you use them. So I know I briefly mentioned them in the past in my tutorial and player upgrade videos. I've talked about you getting skill tokens, but what exactly is a skill token and what do they do? And what are skills just in general so i thought i'd dedicate a full length video to dive a little deeper into these mysterious skills so if we want to get started we can head over to the upgrade tab on the main page and you'll see a list of all your players here uh you can see here mike trout and then the box skills um, the skill box you could just tap into that and then you'll get this full menu of different skills so I'm going to go to just a basic bronze player um, that doesn't have any upgraded skills just so we can see what they're like when you're just starting out so you unlock the first skill at level 10 so make sure to use experience drinks to level up your players past level 10 to get the first one and then the second one is unlocked after level 20. So we have here on the left and right side we have eight skills. Um, these are targeted towards different aspects of the game and your player. The first one here, pre precision swing, gives you plus one contact, plus one batter's eye. These stats, when it doesn't say anything else, they're permanent additions to your player so your player will get plus one contact plus one batter's eye permanently as long as this skill is active if we move to the next one power swing plus one power plus one batter's eye plus one contact plus two speed deception tenacious plus one batter's eye plus two speed now the second row is a little bit different if we read through the description contact hitter contact plus three batter's eye plus two on a hit until the end of the game so what this means is that your player unlike the other ones your player is not going to have those stats automatically for the entire game just for having the skill active you only get the plus three contact plus two batter's eye once you get a hit once that player gets a hit in the game and then it'll last up until that first hit all the way until the end of the game so, for example, if your player is in the top of the lineup, they're batting first, they get a leadoff hit, they'll get the plus three contact, plus two batter's eye for the rest of the game. On the other hand, if your player goes 0 for 3, it's bottom of the ninth, you're up, he's the last batter, gets a hit. Game ends right there, gets a walk off. He's not going to experience any of these attributes. Because he'll get that hit and the game's over. Or if your player doesn't get a hit in the entire game, he'll never get these stats. So those are things you have to look out for when looking at these. Sure, you do get more stats per se. The other one only gave you plus one. This one gave you plus three and plus two. But the trade-off is you have to get a hit. Now this next one, unexpected hit. Plus four power when losing. So now you get plus four but only when you're losing. I'm not sure how this applies when tied games. I don't think they count only if you're actually losing. So if you hit a home run, your first first hitter hits a home run 1-0 in the first inning, you're not going to see this. But on the other hand, if you're losing the entire game, they let's say they get a leadoff home run and you're losing up until the ninth inning, this player is going to get plus four power the entire game. So this is meant to help you catch up. And this one, contact plus two, batter's eye plus two, speed plus two, when losing, same thing applies. And this last one, contact plus two, power plus one, when in scoring position. So only, I believe, it's second or third base when they're on, you get these attributes. Now this, I don't think, is very worth it. So let me just go over, if we scroll back to my main players, we can take a look at which ones I personally use. Now this is just my preference um, you might have a preference for a different skill or if you're leveling your players differently you'll have emphasis on different skills and you might want to use this to compensate in other areas so on this one 
I have it on Tenacious Play. I've upgraded it to the max level, level 5, which is Batter's Eye plus 6, Speed plus 7. So this is all the time I get Batter's Eye and Speed bonuses. Now how these upgrades work is each skill, you earn those skill tokens. I believe this is the only place where you can see how many skill tokens you have. But on right here in the upper right hand side, you'll see a number with the skill badge. So if we go back to a rookie player, you can see that down here it says upgrade materials 10. So this one costs 10 skill tokens to upgrade Tenacious Play to level 2. So instead of plus 1 batter's eye, plus 2 speed, I get plus 2 batter's eye, plus 3 speed. Now, along with the skill tokens, it will also cost you 15,000 coins. But, as we increase levels, the amount of materials, skill tokens, and coins that are required increases each level. So be wary of that. Now, once you get to level 20, now, first I'll kind of explain my rationale for using Tenacious Play. So I like to emphasize Batter's Eye because it helps me locate the pitch. I've said this a number of times. And also Speed, uh, just because I've kind of maxed out uh, Power and Batter's Eye. So I wanted to compensate with Speed for this one. But if you look at my other players, this one I'm trying to get him to level 100 Speed. So I leveled that up all the way. But other players here, I have Power and Batter's Eye. So I focus on this because um, it really, really helps you hit. Power, Batter's Eye, two of the best things that you could use. None of these are bad, per se. It just depends on what specific player. I do plan on making a video about setting your lineup. So this also can do with where your player is, what order your player is batting. For example, your leadoff hitter, you want them to have... A little bit higher than average speed so they can get on base easier but maybe you want your fourth hitter which is your best hitter to have a higher power to be able to clear the base maybe that you want them to have the power and contact one or yeah contact and batter's eye i do avoid these ones on the bottom with stipulations because you you just aren't guaranteed to have a boost so if you have a skill token you might as well get some benefit from it. I'm sure someone who's good at stats can run the numbers. Uh, they can find out an average value. For example, if you know I'm using this one plus one all the time, but let's say I lose, you know, half my games. What's the average gain on attribute, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. That's a little bit too much just for this game. So I'm just gonna go off instinct and what I think uh, I should use personally. But if you find yourself you know, you're in the beginning leagues, you're beating teams by 10, you're getting hits left and right, this might be better, but once you get up, games are harder, pitchers are better, you might want to swap out. So, if we go over and just look at the other sets, um, these ones are mainly aimed at fielding. So, same thing, throwing plus 2 and fielding, speed plus 2, agility plus 2, fielding plus 2, throwing plus 5, weighted scoring position, speed, throwing... Fielding agility, speed agility, self-explanatory, less important, but I just have these on random ones. I think the best ones will probably be fielding and throwing just because um, it just lessens your chance of having errors. But this will also depend on what skills that you've chosen to level up. So you can once again use these to compensate. Let's say you're upgrading their fielding by a lot. You don't want to spend experience attribute points on it go ahead and use a skill token now the skill tokens are different for pitchers they're a little bit different for pitchers and that's the end of this video here i decided to cut it short uh, i think i'm gonna post the second part of this video going over all the pitcher skills but once again, if you have any questions about skills, skill tokens, leave them down in the comment section below. Like the video if you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe. And also stay tuned for a sneak peek of part two. And also stay subscribed to see that video. Peace! I pretty much across the board use perfect, which gives plus four control. That's not an insignificant amount. That's half a level. Four, that's almost five.